Tell us about yourself and the roadmap you took that led you to your position. So I am currently the president of the National Air Traffic Controllers Association. Uh, I have been in this position for 12 years. Prior there, uh, to that, I was the executive vice president for three years, so 15 years in national leadership. Um, I was hired by the FAA in 1990 uh, as an air traffic controller. I worked at uh, Washington Dulles Tower, TRACON, uh, to 2003. In 2003, I became the ultimate regional vice president uh, up in New York, and then I was elected as the vice president and then the president. Was air traffic control your first career goal? No, it's interesting. I didn't even, when I took the test to become an air traffic control, I didn't even know what air traffic control was. Um, it was uh, pretty fascinating. I went to college uh, for business and finance, and um, I was in the midst of, of working in the business world. And I met a man who was a retired air traffic controller, uh, and he would tell me stories about being an air traffic controller. And he actually brought me to uh, I was living in Florida at the time, he brought me to Fort Lauderdale Tower and brought me up there and showed me what air traffic controllers do and then to Miami Center. And I just knew that's something I wanted to do for the rest of my life. It was just fascinating. How did you begin your career? It took about 18 months to, to take the test and start going through the hiring process and then get, uh, get an Oklahoma City date. Are there any skills or personal attributes that are essential to the success of your job? So as an air traffic controller, your skills for sure are, you know, you need to be able to think three-dimensionally, right? Because you have airplanes and kind of on top of each other and side by side, and you need to separate them and then um, be able to solve and work as a team. Is there any advice that you would give to students at Patriots or to youth in general about going into your field? For those that want to enter into the world of aviation, whether it's through engineering or technicians or air traffic control, I can't, I cannot recommend it highly enough to you. I really think, to me, aviation is something, as it's starting to evolve now, when you talk about UAVs and urban mech, mobility, uh, moving around on drones from building to building, when you think about what the future looks like, uh, it's going to be fascinating and it's going to be a career that you're going to be challenged every day and you're going to love to do it. How is it important for youth to be involved in STEM camps, classes, or groups? Well, listen, I think that um, STEM camps are so important, right? And, and aviation groups, uh, because then it becomes natural and becomes muscle memory to you uh, when you think about, you know, principles of flight or the mathematics behind separating two airplanes, you know, five miles apart or three miles apart at the speed they're going. Uh, you know, STEM is so important and, and education is so important and I just think that uh, it, the future it is so bright in aviation with uh, commercial space, you know, really um, becoming this normal thing that people are talking about, that someday we're going to be living on the moon, someday we'll actually have a chance to go to Mars. This is, you know, what the future looks like to us. and. Getting involved early and, and being involved in this is just going to make you so successful in the career if you understand uh, the STEM and the principles of aviation and you understand the system. It's just really going to give you a path forward and a step ahead to be, uh, to be successful in aviation.